Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is a fast lesson, I think, so it's an order of operations, so um, it's a lesson 711, the last uh, lesson, so it's uh, the convenience store. Anyways, our essential question is, uh, what are the rules such as, uh, why are there rules such as order of operations, okay? So we'll see some uh, reasons why. So uh, so uh, here's a connection here, so we can use uh, you know, what we know about acting out the two-step problems, what we, which we did in the last lesson, to write uh, one equation to describe and solve a two-step problem. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if we solve the two-step problem in different orders, what could happen? Well, if we solved it in different orders, you can get different answers. Sometimes you won't, but most of the time you will. So think of this. Use different orders to find 6 plus 18 divided by 2. Okay, so we could just do 6 plus 18 and then take that answer and divide it by 2. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a list of all the possible orders that we can uh, use to find the answer 6 plus 18 divided by 2. Okay, so the first one we can first add 6 plus 18 and then take that and divide that by 2. Or we can do 18 divided by 2 first. We can do this part first and then add 6 after that. Which one do you think would be correct? Well, you might be um, uh, surprised, you guys. So we can divide, uh, we can do this one here, 6 divided by 2, and take that and then add 18 to that. Well, that one doesn't seem likely, so let's take that one away right there. So it's it's one of those two right there. So which one do we do first? So um, use each order above to find the answer and then show the steps that we used. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll do this one first. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and add the 6 plus 18 first. Okay, 6 plus 18 is 24. And then take 24. 24 divided by 2. So if we add 6 plus 18 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Okay, what if we did the 18 divided by 2 first? 18 divided by 2 is 9, and then add 6 after that. 9 plus 6 is 15. See, we get 12 or 15. So we need some kind of thing that's um, uh, what's called an order of operations to, um, and so we can all get the same answer as long as we follow the same rules. So did the following different orders change your answer? Well, it sure did. We had, uh, I think it was 12 and 15, I forgot. So let's draw some conclusions. If a problem has more than one type of operation, how does the order in which we perform the operations affect the answer? Well, we kind of talked about that. It, it gives more than one answer. So uh, we need to have some sort of order. So explain the need for setting an order of operations that everybody follows. Well, so we can all have uh, the same answer. If, if there's one order, then everybody will come to the same answer, hopefully. So as long as we follow the same order. So uh, here's how we connect this up, you guys. So when solving problems with more than one type of operation, we need to know which operation to do first. So a special set of rules, and it's called the order of operations, gives the correct order to properly do the calculations. And this is you're going to be using this special set of rules for the rest of your, your math uh, classes that you're going to take. So all the way through college, if you guys... Uh, are aspiring for college, hopefully you guys are. Um, so the first thing we do, you guys, is we do any multiplication or division from left to right. So if you see a multiplication or division sign in there, you have to do that first. And then after you take care of that, then you do the addition and subtraction from left to right. Okay, so here, Jaden buys, uh, let's go back, you guys. Let's going to go back to that problem back here. So we've got to do the multiplication and division first. So here, i got to do the division first, the 18 divided by 2 first. And 18 divided by 2 is 9. And then we add the 6 after that. So 9 plus 6 was 15. So this is the correct answer right here, 15, not 12, okay? Because we had to do the division first. That's what the order of operations says. We've got to do... Uh, multiplication and division first. Okay, so Jaden buys two shirts for four dollars each. She pays with a ten dollar bill. How much money does she have left? Okay, so we can write uh, ten dollars that she paid with minus the two times four because she bought two shirts for four dollars each. And that'll be uh, C to, rep uh, to describe this problem right here, okay? Let's just move that up. So use the order of operations to solve the problem. Okay, here they are. First, we do multiplication and division from left to right. So I'm going to do this multiplication first. So 2 times 4, okay? 2 times 4 is 8. And then we do the subtraction, you guys. So 10 minus 8 is 2. So Jaden will have $2 left, okay? 
All right, so does that answer make sense and explain? Well, yes, if we work backwards, she bought two shirts for $4 each, and two times four is eight dollars that she spent. So if we take that eight dollars and add two dollars that she has left over, that gives her her ten dollars that she started with. Okay, so yeah, that seems like it makes sense. So which operation should we do first in both of these problems right here? And then write the answer to each problem. Well, okay, so 12 minus 6 divided by 2. I got to do this division first right here, and then I'll do the subtraction second. Over here, 12 divided by 6 minus 2. I got to do this division first right here, and then do the subtraction second. Okay, so in both uh, problems, we should do the division first, then do the subtraction afterwards. So here's the first one. So we did this division right here. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then we do uh, 12, 12 minus 3. 12 minus 3 is 9. Over here we do uh, 12 divided by 6. 12 divided by 6 is this 2 right here. And then so 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay. All right. Don't forget to uh, click like if you can. Take care, you guys.